Hello, my lovelies. Today we are doing a festooned braid. Why festooned? Uh, festooned just means decorated, accented, adorned, uh, but it has two O's and thus pleases me. I like words with two O's like cahoots or any hoodles, you might have noticed. Any hoodles. Uh, we're gonna do this braid. Uh, some of you will rejoice because it is simple. Some of you will not rejoice because it will not be simple to you. It does incorporate one large Dutch braid and three small rope braids. So those of you that hate rope braids will hate it. Those of you that hate Dutch braids will hate it. And this will not be the one for you. No, you cannot French braid this. You have to Dutch braid it. We're gonna weave the rope braids through the braid, which you can't do if it's Dutch and or French and underneath you have to have a Dutch so it sits on top so we can weave. Uh, we're also going to make little florets because, you know, I love my little braidy flowers because I just do and I don't care. Um, uh, so uh, you got to split your hair in two. Uh, this side is going to be very thin. Uh, I just went to where my hair seems to be naturally receding. It's because I wear my hair up all the time. It's tension. It just, yeah. Um, so I went there, I made a hard part, went right behind my ear. There's not a whole lot over here. This is just gonna make three little bitty rope braids, so that's enough. The rest of this mess, I am going to Dutch braid. Now, think of it as in Dutch braiding pigtails. Uh, if you do Dutch, I'm just trying to get my hair smooth on this side. If you're doing pigtails, you would of course split in half and then Dutch braid on both sides. Well, we're only doing one, so we want it to be sort of over here. We get requests for uh, one-sided braids or braids that come over the shoulder. Um, and I thought, well, let's do one of those. Let's decorate it with my fleurs like alike. Um, and let's do some accent braids because I don't do those very often and they're very cool. These hairstyles do end up taking more time the simple fact that it's a lot of braiding. Uh, but if you've got some time and you don't mind, then go for it. So what I'm gonna do is Dutch braid this side, and then uh, I'm going to rope braid these. So I'm gonna come back after all the braiding is done because y'all know how to braid already. If you need to know how to Dutch braid, go see my, uh, what is it, French braid breakdown? French and Dutch both are braid. You can actually see my whole length of hair, so it'll help you with the tangles or the braiding, how your hair likes to braid itself at the bottom once it reaches a certain length. Hand holds, go over the whole thing. So you can go check that out. You need to rope braid. Rope braiding for dummies was put up in like 2007 or eight, so it's been up forever. Um, any hoodles, let me get my braid on and then I shall return and we shall assemble our fistooned braid. I just like, ooh, yeah, any hoodles. Uh, Back. So I'm done with my Dutch, uh, but I wanted to show you how you need to do these rope braids so that they'll lie correctly. So I already have my uh, my one section. I section into three because, like I said, I wanted three rope braids. So what you need to do with your hands is you're going to have to hold one up and behind your head because we need them to go this direction. If you just braid it straight down, when you go to drape it, you're going to have all sorts of funkiness happening up here, which we do not want. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So I've got my two sections for my rope braid. I'm going to twist down like this, right? Because I'm going to wrap up. Remember, you got to twist one direction, wrap the other. So I'm going to twist down and wrap up so that it'll be pretty, basically. So yeah, twist wrap, twist wrap. These are not French or Dutch or anything lace even. These are just rope braids, but yeah, uh, you need to put your hands like this, at least initially starting out. And what I'm going to end up doing is finishing them on the other side. Uh, so I know that they will go in the correct direction. So let me get my rope braids rope braided and then assemblage. Woohoo! It's like when Voltron comes together. That you guys, some of you guys are way too young for that. When the Power Rangers come together, I'm gonna go with Voltron. Woo! Anyways, uh, we're gonna assemble uh, back in a sec. Alrighty, dolls. All of that braiding is 
finally done. So this is how it should look for now. Uh, we should have one big Dutch braid on this side, three little rope braids on this side. Not French or Dutch or lace, just three rope braids. That's it. Yeah, da 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 da, rope braids, and then Dutch braid on the side. As you see, since we did do it uh, kind of Dutch pigtail style, it will hang behind your back if you need it to. But, uh, ouch, that would have been my elbow. Uh, it'll. It's also a side braid for those of you who want to decide braid. Um, I will mess with my bangs at a later point as per the years. So this is the part where we assemble. Um, we have these. We're going to weave these through, bring them back over, and make a little bitty rosette. So let's start with the top one, um, which would be this one. So we have our rope braid. Yeah, da, da, da. We're going to thread it through this big braid. Um, how do you do that with your fingers? I'm just going to do it with my fingers. I am going to bring this one up high. So, uh, because we're going to go over and back because I have a lot of hair and I can. So I'm just going to make myself a little pocket that it'll go through. Do a little finger like this. Got a hold of it. Do, do, do. There we go. Thread it through. Da, da, da. We'll let it hang. I'm going to do the other two so that we have some even space. Oh, so you can see. See? We've got it threaded through because we want a little droop. But even though there are only three braids, it will look like six when we are done because we're going to go over and back. You see, I have a lot. We're also going to go back over and then I'm going to make rosette so it will feel like a more balanced hairstyle. Um, also, it will help to cover our part right here. Um, because, you know, you have to part it, <laughs> but you don't have to leave it just sitting out there. So next one, um, I do have to get my mirror to see where I'm going to put this one through. Um, do, 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 do. Well, this one did not go up as high as I expected. That's fine. Do, 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 right here. Do, do, do. This is the most difficult part because we don't have to thread it back through again. We just have to thread it through the once. Um, do, do, do. If you have one of those uh, needles with the with the big eye, you know, for uh, taping down your hair, might have a real small eye, so it's not really going to do me any good. I got to use just my fingers. I do have one of those that has the big eye, but I have no idea what I did with it. As per the usual. Okay, now third and final. Now see, this is how, remember when I told you you can determine how many you want? Um, maybe you only need two because you only want four going across. So you come up here. So you can only do two or one if you want it to look like there's just two going across. You guys know what you yeah. like. The ends of my braids do have clear hair ties on them, but I will take them off when we make the flowers because the otherwise they'll just kind of stick out funky. So I'm going to go back up, whoop, other side, to the top braid as such, and I'm going to bring it back around. See? See here? Oh, it fills in that gap. Now I'm going to make a little flower. It'll just be small though, because I only have so much hair left. Um, so I'm going to pull off the end, take the ends of this, wrap it around my finger. Well, come on, wrap better than that, for goodness sakes. Wrap it around my finger, slide it off my finger, tighten it up, and then just roll it up. Um, if you missed this trick at some point, I'm going to show you as soon as I get a little bit of a roll going. Do these look super like flowers? Not really. Um, more like pinwheels. Let me see if I can find one of my tiny ones. So uh, this is a standard size bobby pin. These are the little shorties that I sometimes get. As you can see, a little small smaller. So what I do with these shorties mm -hmm, is I take this and I simply run it through the pinwheel. Dun, dun, dun. It's squished a little bit. We'll expand it out. 
but that way it holds it all together and then it's you have a much easier time of rolling it up the rest of the way now oh torn your works are showing yeah well they're gonna show in this one alas but that's okay um, besides you can actually once you get the sucker pin down you can remove that pin so now I have to get my mirror again and see where okay we're there so I want it to go right there this is one of those times where I think I really need a shelf there and not let me roll up just a bit more where are we do you do you do you Yet another hairstyle where it, of course, would be super awesome and easy to do on someone else, less so on yourself. But that does look to be right about right. So I'm going to do the other two. You guys see how it goes. Pin them down. I'm going to use these little baby. These are not Amish pins. These are those little crappy, will not hold their shape pins, but they're stubby. And that's what I need. And they'll do okay in uh, these little braided rollies. See, one, one will hold that. I'm gonna put two in each, but any hoodles, uh, let me get all these done and I'll be right back. And then we'll look at the final product uh, of our festooned braid. Back in a sec. Alrighty dolls, we're all done. We have gilded the lily. <laughs> we have festooned our braid. Uh, from this side, it looks basically like your standard sort of Dutch, a little off to the side. We can flop it over our shoulder. That's very nice. It's when we go the other way that things get interesting. Da -da! Yay! And this side, also interesting. It makes it cool from this side. I know this one's up a little. Hmm. Tighten that. Any hoodles. That's basically what I was going for. Um, how did I come up with this hairstyle? I don't know. I just thought about stuff we could do to dress up a fairly standard braid. Um, a lot of people, a lot of the gals on YouTube are making really beautiful hairstyles. Um, some of mine are beautiful. Um, I mean, they are. Some of mine have turned out really cool. Um, well, really pretty. I would like to try and do some more cool hairstyles. Um, one of my nieces just turned 17, the other one is 13, so I have two teenage nieces and I would like them to think that I'm somewhat cool. Um, so I'm trying to come up with some more cool hairstyles. Not necessarily that are teen centric because this is not teen centric. It's just not your standard beautiful. Um, it's cool. I think it's still pretty, but it's not like, oh, you could totally wear this to prom or your wedding or what, no. But this would be cool just to kind of rock around town. Maybe go out with your friends, um, play volleyball, even. Well, maybe not if you have quite this much hair and you probably do have to bun that. But I don't know, we have this much hair, we might as well play with it. Um, Torin, I can totally do these braids, but my hair isn't long enough to go all the way back. You can, you can do your rosettes on this side if you want. Like just take them through and do little rosettes. You don't have to, you can just go back and forth with no rosette. Just pin it and maybe put pretty clips down the side if you don't have enough to wind up into the little spiral flower deal. Experiment. Um, basically, make some rope braids, lay them through another braid, and then see what happens. This is what happened with mine. I think something just moved, or I have that one braid. I think I was a little loose at the top. Was I? Was I? Was I? Uh, a little. I could put a pin here. I probably should, just to keep it where it should be, or I should have tightened this swirl up a little more, but it doesn't matter. Good enough there is my festooned braid. Um, I think it looks good. I like it, you guys. It's something different. I haven't seen it before, so yay. Um, so if you see it after this, you'll know it was me, um, or that somebody swiped my hairstyle, basically, um, because this one is all me out of my brain. 
scary though it is. All right, uh, that's it for me. I will see you probably next week, uh, just because. You guys know I'm going down two, three per week. Um, so I'll probably see you next week. And, well, I will see you next week. Um, but, you know, every now and then you may get a video on Thursday or Friday. It could totally happen. I reserve the right to post whenever I want to post on my channel. But definitely three per week. This will be your third this week. So, woot. Alrighty. Love you guys. I will see you on Monday for sure. But I might see you before then. We shall see. Alrighty. Uh, until then, be good at it. I love you guys. Bye.